welcome to California Geology. I will be your instructor, Robert Lopez. And today I'd like to go over the syllabus and more importantly, go over the Canvas management system. You will see, once you log into Canvas, you will see the courses that you have, have um, enrolled in for this semester. And that'll be in your dashboard. Our course here is California Geology 15, section uh, 7599. Now you'd click on this, and this, and on the home page, you'll see my content information, some information about the textbooks. Uh, but the most important part of, of um, well, actually, there's two important parts. One is the syllabus. You'll click on this link here to take you to the syllabus. And the syllabus is where you'll find uh, um, the course information in terms of, of what's expected from the course, how many hours you need to put in the course. Again, my contact information, textbook information, uh, exam dates, um, uh, and, and even a tentative, you know, the points break down, a tentative schedule as to how, you know, how I plan to um, uh, approach the course. Uh, I want you to read through this. There is a syllabus quiz uh, based on this reading as well as this video lecture that I'm doing right now. So that'll be due on September 2nd, which is this coming Saturday. Now, the, really the most important part of, of the Canvas course here is uh, this modules tab. And in this modules tab is where I present the course. So in the modules page, you'll, you'll see uh, the first module is a, cal is a textbook. And I, I only have the first five chapters. I, I can't produce all of them because I get in trouble by the publisher. But for those of you who are waiting on your book orders, uh, uh, at least you have the, the material to get you going so you, so you don't fall behind, right? So that's just the textbook material. Uh, then uh, the most, the more important one here is the first assignment. Again, due Saturday, September second, and so this is plate tectonics and 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 California geology. Each uh, module will have a learning guide, right? And this learning guide are basically the um, the information you need uh, uh, for that week. What assignments are due, uh, uh, and what I expect for you to do. Right, so all of this, all work is due September 2nd by 11.59. So you can see there's a list of materials you need to do, right? So again, back in the modules page here, there'll be introduction video, which is this video I'm doing here. Uh, uh, there'll be this, the syllabus um, quiz that you need to take here based on the, the syllabus reading, as well as the video that you're watching here. And then I have a, um, a discussion form this is more of an open form you can come to. It's going to be open all semester. You can come here, and if you have a question about uh, uh, an assignment, um, you can post it to the whole class, and maybe another student can can answer that uh, uh, that question. Um, and especially when we get to these um, all important study questions here. So based on every lecture that I do or lecture series, I have a series of study questions, and I use these study questions for writing the exam. So. Um, uh, it's a good place for um, kind of a group study, uh, this, this, this open discussion forum here. Now, um, so again, you'll watch my videos uh, online and you want to make sure you take notes. Take notes because the exams are primarily based on these video lectures, right? And then you'll want to answer these study questions. So download the study questions to um, um, in, pre in preparation for the exams. And then... Um, the reading quizzes are really based on the textbook. You want to read the textbook. Uh, in some cases, I have specific page numbers I want you to look at. So make sure uh, uh, you read the, the, the chapter, and then the reading quizzes will be, be based on those. There will be these GOD animations. They're little tutorials you go through. Um, some of them are, are interactive, but at the end, you, you, after you're watching, completing the exercise here, you take the quiz based on that material, right? So this GOD quiz is based on this uh, tutorial. And then for this week, I want you to post this discussion, right? So again, uh, um, that's the those are the assignments that are due by September 2nd. So you can see here, we'll have some assignments due on September 9th, which is, deals with the uh, California provinces and minerals. And you can see it kind of uh, keeps going on. So again, the first thing you want to do is read the syllabus, uh, go through my introduction video lecture here in the modules tab, take the syllabus quiz, and then start working on my video lectures, reading the textbook, taking the reading quiz, and doing these discussion posts here and the, and the GOD Canvas quiz. And that's it for this Saturday. 
Um, and then for next Saturday, uh, you know, there's minerals, and you can kind of follow the whole schedule as we go along here, right? Uh, and uh, the first exam will be September 25th. California geology is going to be broken out into the physical process, processes, and eventually we'll get to, to um, the, the processes that involve uh, the different provinces of California. So you'll see that each chapter in this book is going to be broken down into, um, into a specific geo, what we call it, we call it a geomorphic province. And that just means that uh, each one of these provinces is outlined by some geologic feature, whether it's a, um, uh, whether it's a fault line, uh, a, a, a series of rock types, right? We're not going to be able to get to all of these provinces in this, in this course because um, we just won't have time. I mean, there, there's quite a bit of detail to them. And, and also, we're going to be spending about three to four, well, actually, about four weeks uh, on, on background material just to understand the geology of California, we need to understand the processes uh, uh, of geology, origin of magma, plate tectonics, sedimentation, metamorphic rocks, and identification of minerals, right? Uh, but we will get through a number of these. Um, one thing I want to do before I, I end this, uh, our little introductory talk here, is I want to just mention that California has um, a state mineral, there's a state gem, uh, a state fossil, and the cat and the state rock so you probably know some of these right so let's um uh, let me let me show you the first one which is pretty cool the first one we'll do the the california state rock and i have the state rock right here this rock is called serpentinite serpentinite is actually a metamorphic rock and it has an unusual origin it comes from the the ocean from the deep oceanic crust uh actually rock from the sea floor somehow is now here in California and makes our state rock. So uh, the tectonics, the origin of this rock is really uh, 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 quite amazing. It's a green rock. Sometimes it has this mottled color like you see here. Um, slippery. Um, in fact, uh, recent studies have shown that this rock occurs deep within the San Andreas Fault Zone and may be a reason why we see a, a, a motion on the fault called a, a creep motion. So anyhow, um, uh, serpentinite, California state rock, rock, metamorphic rock. Then um, we also have a state fossil. And so the state fossil is right back over here. My friend uh, Smilodon. So Smilodon is a, uh, a saber-toothed cat. Smilodon californicus is a, is a full genus and species. But uh, this animal uh, uh, was around walking here in California. Um, uh, as little as about 11,000 years ago, right? And so uh, quite an amazing creature. So uh, California state fossil, Smilodon. And then we'll put this guy back over here. And then our, our state mineral, well, in fact, our state mineral is gold, right? And I have a little bit of gold here, or what we call it is gold ore. And, and there's little, little gold seams in here. We'll put it down in here. Maybe you can see the little gold in there. And... Um, uh, I don't have a, a really nice big piece of it, but if we zoom in a little bit on this, you might be able to see some of that gold in there. So there's a gold, California. Uh, so when we do the Sierra Nevada, we'll, um, there's, a, there's a nice expression of it right in there. Um, we'll talk quite a bit about the, about the origin of gold and how it got into these quartz veins, right? And that's one of the places where we find them. And we'll talk about the difference between plaster mining, which is uh, uh, panning, and then the, the load mining, which is actually going down and getting this hard rock. So you have to go underground. And then finally, the last mineral, which is pretty interesting, is, um, well, actually, the last um, part of California here that I want to discuss is the state gem. And the state gem is called benitoite. And it's uh, quite precious. It's a barium titanium silicate. And um, uh, if you look on eBay and look for benitoite, it ranges in a variety of prices. It can be quite expensive. Um, uh, found that, in fact, it's found in several places around the world, but only in California does it form nice gem quality crystals, right? What I'd like to do is see if I can turn down the lights a little bit here, because benitoite has an unusual uh, uh, fluorescence. Under shortwave um, uh, light, let's turn off the big light here, it's going to give a, an unusual uh, 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 fluorescence where basically the black light's going to excite 
the mineral and so in this in the, the the wavelengths are allowing an emission of light here. So benitoite is quite unusual. In fact, one way to find benitoite, uh, if you're hiking around the coast ranges looking for sources of benitoite, what you'll do is you often prospectors take one of these black lights with them, going around in the dark and seeing what they find. And um, who knows what you'll find? But benitoite, uh, California state gem. So just tend to summarize what we what we have here. We have the the state mineral, which is our gold, uh, the benitoite, which is a state gem, uh, uh, Smilodon californicus, which is our state fossil, and then uh, serpentinite, which is our our state rock. So there you go. Um, well, anyhow, again, I'll welcome you to California Geology. Uh, I'll have more of these little online lectures. Um, I'll have a series of them beginning uh, really on Monday for plate tectonics. Um, and more importantly, don't forget about the, the syllabus quiz, uh, which will deal on reading that syllabus, plus knowing the state fossil, the state rock, state gem, and the state mineral. Anyhow, we'll see you next time. Thank you.